Hi guys, it's Manik from EarlyLearningMom.com. Today I am teaming up with Reading Eggs and I'm doing a flip through. I'm a member of the Old School House Review Crew and this uh, month we were we selected that we wanted to use the Reading One Skills for Grade One and we also received four weeks of uh, reading eggs as well to correspond with these lessons. So I thought before we dive into the workbook and you know mark it up and make it not pretty anymore, um, we would do a quick flip through so you can see what is included in the readings one um, skills for grade one. Okay, so this is the reading one skills for first grade. And as you can see, here's the table of contents. You can pause it if you'd like to get a closer look. But each lesson corresponds with a map and a lesson on the map. So they talk about the five pillars, the reading that a reading eggs works through, how to use this book. Each lesson has four pages to reinforce learning. Um, there's lesson reviews at the end of the four page lesson. The yellow review panel helps track the achievements. There are quizzes and then there are the online lessons. And then this is kind of the yearly planner. So with the different maps, so for grade one you would do map seven, map eight, map nine, map ten, map 11 and map 12 and how do it talks about how these lessons build um, reading success there's some alphabet there's an alphabet chart so your child can practice writing and saying little letters there's also some warm-up fun which is some penmanship uh, practice we have some let's some review so it's let's um, complete the alphabet snakes matching and writing the letters that the sounds begin with. We also have counting syllables, how many sounds, and circling the correct words. And then your student will move on to filling in the missing letters, um, practicing some sight words and checking to make sure that they know all of these sight words. Then there are, this is this begins with the actual lesson, so this is lesson 16, and your student would first make the rainbow words, copy the words, um, color the correct word and cross out the wrong word, color the path of knees to get to the fish. You would also complete the sentences with the word box. You would complete the sentences and draw a picture. And then you would move on and write um, the words in the boxes. Then there are vocabulary. For your vocabulary, you have two lessons here. Um, join each word to the picture, write your own sentence. And then you move on to comprehension. Um, read the answers, and then you fill, finish the sentences. And then when you complete the lesson, you would write into your workbook that you finished this lesson online, how many eggs you hatched online, I know the words me and B, so you would yes or no, and then your child can read the um, book if you got the whole collection, or I believe it's online as well with the lessons. And then you'd move on to lesson 32. So as you can see, they kind of follow in the same patterns. There's just little different activities. You would write the words. You would can match the jigsaw puzzles to make the words. There's more reading comprehension. So basically this is just a hands-on um, workbook to accompany the Reading Eggs online program. Um, there's also some reading, um, read and write, so your child would label the pictures and then read the sentence and circle the answer. Is Gus a duck? And then you would circle a yes or no. And um, moving on, you help smile, do his wash, color the path of twos to the word. So it's a lot of the same thing. There's a lot of penmanship, but repetition really is the way sometimes to get kids to remember how to spell words, um, to remember, remember these sight words and the frequently, um, like the high frequency words. 
and definitely learning how to label, answer questions, and just different ways to practice writing. One thing I really like about this book is it is very, very colorful, um, but not in a way that it's distracting. They're still, like, you know, the words are very clear. There's not a lot of things going on here, but it's still very pretty to look at. It's very um, eye-catching for a child without being distracting. Also, at the end of each map, there is a quiz for your child to finish up. And there is also um, a kind of a certificate to mark in the things that your child can do and which books they read. And then there's a fun find your treasure, like a look and find, and then you're, you start the next map. And things get a little harder as you move through. Um, there's put the words in the correct order, match the correct picture to the, the sentence. So overall, it's quite a nice workbook, and we're really excited. Z did reading eggs years ago, and um, when he saw the cover, he instantly recognized it. So he's excited. We're going to download it on his iPad, and he's going to work through some of them, the lessons, and work with the corresponding workbooks. And you can see circle these words, so you do a little word find, write the words in the boxes, um, read each sentence, and is it telling a who, what, when, or where? So that's really good information for a child to learn. There's some crosswords, um, making words with these letters, so two-letter word, three-letter word, four-letter word, and then there's the review, and then once again a quiz. So as you can see, the book kind of goes on like that, and it gets a little bit more difficult. Right? Three things you can do when you see, touch, smell, hear, taste. So this kind of goes into a little bit of science as well, um, which is going on about the senses. So you can definitely play on that as well, just if you're building your own curriculum, or even if you just want to do a little side lesson and then some more complete the sentences, color the sh words, say the name of each picture, color its beginning sound, middle sound, and end. So you would select it and then you would spell it out. Some more join the puzzle pieces to write the word, shelf, shorts, shoes, some more comprehension, and then there's some wheels to make words, so wide, slide, ride, just showing the different word families that a child could be learning. There's some little codes to crack, um, so some critical thinking is involved, and following the directions, coloring the, w the ch words red, the sh words yellow, filling in the cupboard, write the things that you would eat on the shelves. So your child would go through and, well, they wouldn't eat a fridge, but they'd eat an apple, cheese, not the hat. So that's kind of cool. There's some more comprehension questions. Changing the letters one at a time. This is something that they do on the actual um, Reading Eggs program, both like I mentioned before, Zakari did this program, and Wesley also did this program years ago. And so they have the child, so this would be bite. Now you change the first letter, you put it in, and now it's hike. And then, you know, hive, you change it to a V. So they have the little letters that they would put in, and it's just a word ladder changing one letter at a time, helping the child sort through that. Um, put the foods in the mixer and with the chips and write the new food. So chalk chips, cheese, eggs, bananas, just writing different foods. That would be a really, really gross smoothie. Um, 
say the name of each picture and color which word family so figuring out more word families and not just the at cat you know we got I've I'm Ike I'll um, so this is the quiz that your child will do once again they get the the nice work certificate and they have a fun spot activity to do so Overall, we've really enjoyed um, reading eggs in the past, and like I said, it's not that, I'm not entirely sure when, I think when we moved, we had put our subscription on hold, and we never just, we just never got back to it, but after seeing Z's reaction to this book, I'm realizing that I should probably get back on that, so it'll be great to have that four-week um, um, subscription and we will probably continue through um, just to throw in as um, some supplementary work to our curriculum. I really like these filling in the words. Um, make the space compound, so space suit, space walk, space ship. Um, so they talk about compound words and as you can see like the comprehension questions get a little bit more difficult your child's expected to read more at this point so we're at level 97 and then say the words and join the letters so now they've got to look through and connect the words and then or the letters and write the word in some more word ladders join each word to the machine and write a new word so more compound words and uh, filling in the words, how many sounds in each, there's my kitty in the background, more comprehension questions, word wheels, review, like I said, I'm just going through this really quickly, now your child will be done Mount 10, and before you pick out which book you should probably go to the actual reading eggs website and take the um, have your child take the placement test to make sure that you're picking the correct um, level books tend to each book tends to build on each other so you don't want to be jumping too far ahead and then having your child um, lagging behind nor do you want to pick a book that is um, too easy for your child and just kind of waste their time. They don't want, most kids, if they get bored with something, they just don't want to do it. And um, so you definitely don't want to put a sour taste in their mouth. Um, oh, now we're making er words. So um, helper, brother, sister, badger, and circling the word better, finding it in there, joining letters to make better. Um, we're sliding blends to finish the word, completing sentences, another quiz, and this is for maps, uh, map 11, lessons 91 to 110. And then they would go on to the last map, and it starts, the oh, last map for that's considered grade one. And um, so they're coloring words with one syllable with red, um, yellow, two syllables would be yellow, um, and they talk about just counting and clapping the syllables, spelling, making compound words. So this one seems to work a lot on syllables. Blend endings, that's something that Z is going to have to work on. We got some vocabulary words, comprehension again. Um, word families, um, more comprehension, finishing words, writing words in the box. So there's a lot, there is a lot of writing, but it is simple writing. It's just filling in things. It's going from word banks. There's not a lot of sentence writing per se. And if your child is a reluctant writer, you can still, um, look at doing some scribing for them so they can tell you the answers and you can put it in for them just so that they're not stressing about the writing at this point and just have them you know maybe fill in a few letters for practice or if they're strong writers they can do it themselves too um, 
following a weather chart, read and answer the questions. So yeah, overall, this looks like a very impressive book. I'm excited to write a review about it. Here is the final quiz. And I'm, yeah, so I'm really excited to write this review and get us to jump in just with the last fun spot. And then there's some review again. Draw a star for each word you know, so your child would go through and read. Check vocabulary, read the clues, and write the word. And yeah, and then at the end, your child would get a certificate stating that they have completed the Reading Eggs first grade program. And that is all for reading eggs. So it, they claim to improve reading levels in just 15 minutes a day, learn to read with reading eggs, and they will focus on fo phonics, vocabulary, and comprehension. So thank you for watching, and thank you for, to uh, Reading Eggs for sending me this book. Um, you will see an updated um, blog post. I'm, uh, I may do a video about it, but um, once we've worked through it in um, September, my blog post will be coming out, and um, that is it for now. So thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and, um, and we'll see you soon.